What makes a photo Facebook, Twitter, Instagrammable? What makes you like or save a photo on Instagram? If you ask me, it's the sincerity. The photo has to be real. It has to connect. And sometimes it has to be raw, right? So we call this lifestyle photography. And I love shooting lifestyle. These are photos that tell a story about a product, a personality, or even a relationship. It's a great way to connect to your audience and tell them a story. In a way, it's everyday art. So today, I'm gonna teach you guys how to take better lifestyle photos. Photos that are more relatable. And I will also give you tips on how to take that winner shot. Today, we're here at Cape Cueva. This is Candid Coffee's secret roastery. And I will shoot Lance and the rest of the Candid Coffee team while they're working. We're going to try and take photos that are as smooth, comforting, and eye-opening as a freshly brewed cup of coffee. So, I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Let's go! Tip number one, find the light. Light is the most important element in photography. So, the first thing that you need to do is to look for a light source that you can take advantage of. For this shoot, I use their window as my main source of light and a reflector to even out the shadows of my subject. And since it was so gloomy that day, the quality of light coming from the window was very soft and diffused. It was actually the perfect kind of lighting for the treatment that I was aiming for. Imagine this, a perfect cup of coffee on a gloomy day. That's very comforting, right? To tell you guys quite honestly, I hate strobes. I am more of a natural light shooter because I want my images to look more natural and genuine. Besides, I am shooting real people and not models. The secret to lighting is looking at light. Looking at light as the camera does. So knowing how your camera can record light is a sure way for you to understand and take better photos. Tip number two, use the environment to tell a story. Lifestyle photos are more interesting when you incorporate the location or a background in your composition. So an example is this particular shot where I asked the Candid Coffee team to just hang out in front of their roaster. And that way, I'm giving the audience a story, giving them a glimpse of who these people are, what they do, and where they are. Because yung background has a giveaway na nasa coffee shop. Sila. Tip number three, give your subject something to do. Emotions make an image powerful. And when you're dealing with people who are not really used to posing in front of the camera, the secret is movement. So obviously, the Candid Coffee team wanted Candid shots. So I made them do what they do best. Make coffee and enjoy their coffee. So when I shoot details no, for lifestyle photography, I love including a human element or a human touch to it just so it feels more real and it's more relatable. So in a particular shot, I asked Julia to like cut the banana loaf and then I included her hand in the photo. In that way, invest na parang sobrang product photography lang, we include this human element which is the hand. And that makes a big difference to the photograph. So you can always include movement to your detail shots. For example, this particular espresso shot going down the Pora filter. Since I'm a coffee lover, it's a big deal for me looking at crema. Sobra nakaka excite siya. So always find that element that you can include to your shots to entice your audience. 
I also took some portraits of Lance and his fiancée, Wendy. And since both of them are not so used to posing in front of the camera, we tried different movements and postures that feel organic to them. Wendy, look at Lance. Always remember that expressions are very important. Don't be afraid to communicate your subject and make them feel comfortable to bring out their personality. So guys, don't be afraid to play with your angles. Pwede kayong mag-low angle, mag-high angle. Okay, hindi naman kailangan parating high level yung shots. So for example, this shot, I positioned Pat and Kat in the staircase. And then I decided to take like a medyo low angle shot para lang to highlight the leading lines towards them. And another example, I had a lot of high angle shots while Pat was preparing coffee also. Don't be afraid to try different angles. Experiment! Unleash the photographer in you. Go high or go low. And you'll be surprised with the results. Always remember that when you're shooting lifestyle photos, it's important that your lines are straight in your images because it gives an impression that it's happening in real life. Because as you notice, when the angles are canted, and they actually do that in horror movies, you know that something is wrong. And you wouldn't want that in your lifestyle images. So just make it a point that your lines are always straight. Tip number five, add layers to your shots. Another layer that you can play with is to try shooting through glass windows. It adds depth and some mystery to the shot as if you're inviting your audience to peek or eavesdrop to your subject's life. So another example of adding a layer to your composition is by actually using lens filters. So I have a new favorite that I just recently purchased. It's from Lens Baby. It creates like a layer of interest na parang meron akong automatic foreground in my shots. So there you go guys, the 5 tips on how to take better lifestyle photos. All the elements that I mentioned to you, when combined together, will definitely create a beautiful photograph. Always remember, practice makes perfect. Don't forget to take a lot of photos. It's not rocket science, guys. So if you like our content, please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. It's really going to help us produce better videos for you. So guys, don't forget to keep shooting and trust the process. I'm Jaja Samaniego. Till next time!